I've been doing books on building for about 50 years now, and um, here are some of the books, starting with dome books, shelter, homework, tiny homes, small homes, and now the latest book that I've done. So in all these years of interviewing builders and shooting photographs, uh, thousands and thousands of pictures, this is the first book I've done on my own work and uh, mine and my wife Leslie's. And this is... Um, this is 46 years of homesteading on a half acre piece of land. And we decided to just document what we've done here for one thing, because it can help people to um, think about doing the same sort of thing themselves. So here's the, here's the house here. Here's the interior. Here's a, uh, here's the living room. Um, with a handmade quilt on the bed. And we show people how to, like Leslie shows people how to make these blinds and a lot of the things that we do in and around the house. Here's uh, bookshelves just to give people an idea. Um, here's, uh, if you notice, it, it, uh, it, things aren't really picked up and neat and orderly here like they are in Dwell Magazine, but we just wanted to show the house the way it is in day-to-day -day life. Uh, you don't often see that in magazines or books of architecture. Here's a dining room nook. The table is made out of used Douglas fir. Uh, all the tables in the house are made out of used Douglas fir. Uh, here's um, solar panels. Um, we've had them for a couple of years now. Our last uh, bill last month was minus $32 and it runs the house and the office and everything around here. This is a little shed that I built last year with my friend Billy. Uh, with a curved roof like a gypsy wagon. It's a guest uh, a room across the road. And here's the kitchen, which we call the heart of the house, which it truly is. Um, here's uh, our dishwashing setup and uh, like a small hot water heater under the sink and a, and a place where the, the dishes are washed and then rinsed and put in the rack and they stay there uh, as the cabinet. Uh, here's a um, here's a pantry um, where we grind grain and store things. Uh, we we have certain kitchen tools we're showing, like not a garlic press or a egg beater or something, but things like the KitchenAid or the grain flaker that are kind of unusual. That makes it makes oatmeal out of oat grain uh, each morning. Um, bread. Um, uh, Leslie's been making all our own bread, sourdough bread, for about 10 years, and it's become quite fashionable now with the uh, virus and people staying at home. Um, foraging, mushrooms, uh, which I really have gotten into doing. Uh, fishing, uh, crabs, clams. I get clams out of a kayak. Um, all of these things are, are things that you can do at home. Here's the office. Um, and, a, and a drawing of the office and the, and the, the uh, homestead. Um, Leslie's quilts and uh, her weaving, where she spins and dyes and makes scarves and shawls and blankets. Um, the gardening for two people, pretty extensive uh, photos and descriptions of how we garden. Um, here's the chicken coop with the living roof. A lot of, I kind of got carried away with flowers. There's a lot of pictures of flowers in the book. Greenhouses. We have two greenhouses and we describe how they're built and how we use them. Garden tools. Uh, here's the, the greenhouse, the potting shed, the chicken coop, and the yard for the chickens. Chickens are a big part of our lives and have been for all all along here. Um, and then um, wild birds uh, that come around. Critters that uh, we see in the garden, foxes, uh, there's a roadkill weasel snake and insects. And then the last thing, one of the last things in the book is a section called Advice of Someone Building a Home. And what that is, is 
I wrote this after the Santa Rosa fire, and here's kind of a summary of everything I've learned in building over a 50-year period. Like if I were to do it over again, here's the way I would do it.